Good morning guys. Today I'm going to look for just a nice place to sit and edit. I'm testing out the solar with this new Blue Eddy system. Currently pulling in about 45 watts. With the gear I'm charging, it's taking less watts than the solar's bringing in. So I'm going net positive, which is exactly what I want to see. I'm going to be going down to something called Morant's Curve. I don't know what it is. It's just a, it has like a one of those picture icon on Google. So you can see here, I got part of it to load. Some of it's still blurred out, but it looks really nice. So let's just go hang out here for a bit and do some editing. And maybe after a couple hours, I'll go into town and kind of find a place near a bathroom. There's a visitor center, uh, but it's just swarming with tourists. There's another like a, a sports park. So I might go check that out because usually they have bathrooms right near baseball diamonds, that kind of thing. And sometimes they have a plug you can plug in. Tomorrow I'm going to go up and do Hidden Lake, I think it's called. So I just made it to Morant's Curve. This is a tourist trap. I can't hang out here. Uh, I'm gonna go check it out real quick and then I'm gonna there's a there's a picnic bench area over there by the creek I think there's a sign on the road there, so we'll go over there Not every day you see people on roller skates and ski poles going down a highway <laughs> I guess it's the road It's technically a road These guys have more patience than I. They're waiting for the train to come by so they can get some shots and they're on a radio talking with people, but uh, who knows, I'm not, I can't wait around in the sun there. I gotta get to work. There is a little creek trail over here. We'll just go check that out real quick. It's really sad. If you look straight through there, there's a bunch of toilet paper. Any of these kind of locations that are touristy but don't have a toilet, you often find the toilet paper 10 feet into the woods. People go in there and take a dump on the side of a tree and then they just leave their toilet, dirty toilet paper right out in the public, out, out in the open there. And it's, it's disgusting. The least they could do is actually bury the toilet paper and their poop and do it more than 10 feet off the side of the trail. Let's head back to the, there's a picnic table sign on right by the creek there. We'll see that's a lot better than this tourist trap. So this picnic spot looks amazing, but in typical national park fashion, there's no overnight parking here. Off next to me here, we've got a full yard sale. I love it. This is what I do with my stuff. Splay it out, organize your gear, dry it out. So let's go check out this river that's close by here. And there's some picnic tables. I can sit and work. Get a lone tree in the river. Dead tree. This place is an absolute van life paradise. It's a shame that they have the no parking. I think it's like 11 p.m. to 9 a.m. You can't be here. Check out this, this stone oven, furnace, chimney thing. This is incredible. Tons of picnic tables, garbage can. This one's got a full on stove in here. I wish these places could be promoted like a van life area. It's dedicated to van lifers where community can be had and you can meet like minded people. You don't have to sneak and hide and go full stealth. You can come out here and cook, get water. There's garbage, there's bathroom, like it's perfectly set up for all of that. They just take away the no overnight. So it's like, huh. But it's just like, you would have such great community being able to, you know, sit and cook at that big, that big stove there. That'd be so cool. You know, have a bunch of people sitting around the fire there, cooking stuff and like sharing like all your favorite spots, things you've seen around here. I wish I could meet more van lifers. I'm not so bold to just go randomly start talking to these people. I think some of them are for sure. Look at this picturesque little creep. All right, I've got a metric ton of editing to do. So it's back to the, the CRV for me. I, this time I parked it out in the sun. So I'm actually getting solar. The key to parking out in the sun is to put up all your sunshades. That way they get smoking hot, but your vehicle inside does not. give you a quick glimpse of the outhouse. There's also recycling and garbage here. I 
actually quite peaceful sitting here. So I've been at this rec center now the last few hours. I've been able to plug in here, which is great. And let me show you how I got my editing set up. It's pretty hot out here. I brought out my big fan, which was up in my uh, cargo box up here. So I brought that out that's plugged into my Blue Eddy, which is in turn plugged into the wall. And I'm just sitting here. So currently editing a video for you guys. And one recent upgrade I did on this is I have this carabiner here, which is attached to this hook. And that's attached to the seatbelt thing so it can float, but it gives it support. I used to use um, this stick and I would put it through this, through the three holes. There's three holes in here. And that's how I'd hold it up, but that meant that the door had to be closed. So now I can have the door open and edit and have a nice airflow with the fan in here. So I'm gonna edit here for another couple hours. Um, there's no parking overnight here. I think 11 o'clock might be when they shut it down, something like that. But uh, I gotta head over to that same spot, this Kokoki or whatever, before 8 p.m. because that's when they close the road. They actually put a barricade across the road at 8 p.m. I don't know why, it's a main road, it's ridiculous, but um, I gotta get a spot there for in the morning because that thing just absolutely fills up every single day and that's where I'm gonna be doing the Hidden Lake hike. I like how I step out of my vehicle and look up into the mountains and see quite literally the coolest glacier I've ever seen. So I've been camped out at this recreation facility here for multiple hours. Uh, it's fantastic. There's bathrooms in there, there's uh, filtered water, there's power. And check this out over here. Would you believe in Lake Louise that there's this facility with ball hockey and basketball nets? It's beautiful. In the back there too, there's a slack lining and a baseball diamond and a golf nets. It's very weird. There's like no population in Lake Louise. Why is there so many facilities? I don't know. This is a good place though to, you know, kind of chill out for the kind of daylight hours. So good. 